Let's go. Get up, get up, I think I got gold on. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. You're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy, videos about high-powered and commuter scooters. Thanks for joining me again. If it's your first time checking out my channel, thank you very much. Let me ask you to subscribe to the channel. That really goes a long way. I feel like the channel is driven by fan participation. Make sure you like the video, drop a comment, set your notifications for the live stream. If you like any of the scooters you see in any of my videos, please use my bonus code at Vora Motors, link in description. The bonus code is Electric Scooter Academy, the name of the channel. You get $50 off any e-move or Cabo product. I get a little kickback and that really supports the channel. I really appreciate it, guys. So I'm out here on the Mantis King GT. Speaking of the bonus code, I've sold a bunch of these through my affiliate. I actually sold one of these to one of my local friends. What's up, Alfonso? Now I met Afonso once, and he drives one of the big Namis, right? Like one of the big, um, not the Klimas, but the Bernies, right? He drives a big one. And he wanted to get a scooter that would be easier for him to throw into his car to bring to group rides. And I get it, man, because like putting like a big Dultron or a big Cabo into a car, you, it's doable, but it's a lot of work. So if I'm recommending to a local friend, you know, I mean, one, you know, I really believe in the product. Two, it's kind of interesting is he's pretty tall. He's like 6'1 or 6'2, at least 6'1. And it's not that this scooter, the Mantis King GT, is not good for a tall person, but to be honest with you, at a discount 5'10, it's the perfect height for me. If I was any taller, I would think about extending the handlebars. If I was taller, I've extended the handlebars on all my Dualtrons, you gotta understand. Almost nobody does that. I extended all my handlebars on my Dualtrons, my Cabos. I have not done that. I'm sure it can be done, but I'm pretty comfortable because on my Wolf King GT, the handlebars are set wide. I stand pretty far from the handlebars and that ameliorates some of the problems. Anyhow, so I wanted to kind of do a everything you need to know about the Wolf King GT video. I'm just gonna do it, you know, off the top of my head. I guess we'll start high points, like everything good about the scooter. In as short of a format as possible, I'll tell you all the good things about the scooter, and then I'll tell you all the known issues with it, and all the known solutions for the issues, and what I think the general public thinks about it. So, hang tight, here we come. The good things first. I'm out here in mode four. This scooter's got five modes. It's got crazy acceleration. Here we go completely just keeping way ahead of traffic. I might even put it in mode five to really show off. Mode five will put you in the low 40 mile per hour range, mid 40s probably with a fresh tank on a flat, depending on how much you weigh. So the scooter's got great acceleration, a really respectable top speed of probably close to 45 miles per hour if you're under, let's say 200 pounds. I've gotten it to 45 on a fresh battery. I just don't generally drive it in mode five. I'm more of a battery saver guy, 35 is fine for me. So great acceleration, great top speed, zoom hydraulic brakes, say what you want, they are good brakes, second best in the industry only to nuts. I've spent a lot of time on nut brakes, make as many jokes as you want about that. But the only difference is nuts are slightly grippier at high speeds. Zooms are fine, especially for the Mantis King GT, they are absolutely fine. Especially if you maintain them and know when to change your brake pads, know when to bleed your lines. I'm not even sure where we're going. I was gonna take us north on um, Bronson today. Scooter's got 10 inch tires. I think it comes with these like a uh, hybrid tires. I have a regular tire on the back and the stock tire on the front. Changing the tires, very easy. It's got the split rim. I mean, that's what you want to make it easy. He's got that split rim. See, we are out here again, just fighting traffic with this bitch. So changing tires, very easy, especially if you're familiar with the split rim, which is the easiest format of tire changing to learn. Changing the brake pads, bleeding the lines, like any other scooter, the same. Pads especially easy. I'm only getting better and better at learning how to bleed my lines better. I'm still having somebody help me. I have somebody coming this week to like work on all my vehicles. 
scooter's got crazy suspension. Like I never really rode a scooter that goes this fast that is like cushy and the suspension is adjustable. I'm not sure how many levels it's got, but I got mine like right in the middle. To me, it's like just cushy enough. I don't need cushy. I don't bounce up and down on the scooter. I'm not out here making a fucking commercial. Well, I am, I guess, but you know, I hate like how the bouncing up and down on the scooter is literally like a viral video. But who cares how much you can bounce the fucking scooter? But this scooter has crazy adjustable sus rear suspension. I think the front suspension is okay. I'm gonna talk about the front suspension. The front suspension is super stiff. But to me, I've, I've learned that this very, very stiff, strong front suspension is like a Cabo trademark. After years of riding Dultron, and Dultron does not have a weak stem or anything, but the whole machine flexes, uh, the suspension on that Dultron is really built into the body instead of like the springs that these types of scooters have. It's always a little hard to explain. People didn't, it's not really important though. I just like to keep the conversation to Cabo. You can ask me questions about Dultron in the comments for sure. Right, so here we are in Western, and I think I'm gonna take us down to Hollywood, and that way there's some pretty good open spots there we can open up. Last thing about the positives, although I'm sure I'm missing a lot of the positives about the scooter. By the way, I sent my friend Alfonso to go to Vora Motors to test road, to test ride the scooter, and he immediately purchased it. He lo absolutely loved it. This is a guy who owns a big NAMI. So no guy knows what he's like looking at and shit. And this guy was a big six foot one, six foot two tall guy. Anyhow, I think everybody, if you can, you gotta test ride these scooters. The last positive is the cost. The scooter is 2150 plus tax. I don't even know if they charge for shipping. But low 2000s for this scooter is insane. I think this scooter goes 45 miles per hour. My first scooter, my first Dualtron Ultra in 2019 cost me like 4600 out the door. I paid like super, like full retail and tax and everything. And that cost me 4,600. That scooter went 50 miles an hour. You imagine that? So for under 2,200, the scooter goes 45 miles an hour. Now, the, the Ultra is still a little bit faster than this scooter, but it's just amazing how much you get for your money. This is an insane scooter for the amount of your money. I mean, I would never call this a bargain scooter, but you gotta understand it is like a, it is designed for value, I believe you're getting a lot for your money. It's almost like that in every single Vora Motors product. And that leads to the issue. What's the cost of getting so much for your money? Every scooter, every line, almost every product, after a lot of use, the users are gonna report back, this is breaking, that's breaking, I'm having trouble with this, trouble with that. So now that this scooter has been on the market for almost a full year, I believe, they know what's wrong with this scooter, okay? Basically, they knew, even before I got mine, that there was something wrong with the stem. The stem was cracking, and before it cracks, I guess you can, you can weld it to save it, but all the new models should have it way, hey, hey. All the new models have a welded stem. Okay, I'll try to, I'll cut to a picture here for you. Actually, I'll jump off the scooter right here anyhow. We're in such crazy traffic. Let me show you. Check to make sure my cameras are working and everything. I have 420 miles on this scooter, by the way. Is this going to be the 420 mile review? Okay, okay. You see this part right here? This is welded. And for reference, this is the stem. This is the neck right here. Some people have been reporting small visible cracks in their neck. And an even smaller amount of people, their necks have broken. So their tragedy is your benefit. Because now they have a, the, the stem should be welded when you get it delivered. And the neck... They now have a version two and a version three. When you order this scooter, just make sure you're getting the, the newest model. You can talk to Voro about it, although I'm pretty sure they're only shipping new orders out with the uh, with a welded stem and the new neck. And that is all is, that is wrong with this scooter, which is actually pretty incredible after a year. And I don't think you can discount how many how many of these they have sold. Since I'm an affiliate, I do like a tiny, tiny percentage of their sales, but I'm a math freak, so I can look at like the amount of views that I get on my channel compared to, in general, what the other channels get, total number of channels, total number of views. They have sold, Coral Motor sells an incredible amount of scooters. I've been in their warehouse. It was like Indiana Jones shit, like never ending fucking warehouse. I couldn't, I was not allowed to video it. You can see flashes of it in some of their videos. They sell a lot of scooters, so yeah, some of them shit's gonna happen. 
but I feel like now that <laughs> this scooter was tested on the market, it's like fully vetted. I feel really comfortable recommending it to my friend who's 6'1", 6'2", you know, bigger than me, over 200 pounds. I think he said he was 220, but a very cool guy. So anyhow, it's funny, I talked a long time about the good of the scooter and the bad of the scooter I really just told you about, right? The stem which they fixed and the neck. Uh, maybe other things, I have seen some people blowing their rear suspension because this, this, you know, the rear suspension is like a tiny little coil but it is pretty incredible. I don't have mine set too loose. I'm convinced, I, I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm convinced that I know, how, like I don't drive the scooter that hard. I think guys drive their scooters really, really, really hard, always in maximum gear, always fucking crushing it. And I think that's just bad for the scooter. And, oh shit, I hear this guy, I hear a guy on a motorcycle behind me. Is that a cop? No, I got out of his way though. Other bad things, I mean, nothing really. The top, like I said, I did my first tire change. It was so easy to do. And I think your best bet is always going to be read the Facebook groups, read the Reddit groups if you want to. But you can also ask questions in the comments here and kind of get an answer for me and kind of a group answer. Not really into sugarcoating anything, even though I'm selling shit, but if I'm out here riding this thing, I fucking love it. I like it better than the Dualtron Eagle Pro. Better than my Dualtron Limited, for sure. Good scooter, just different, and this scooter has got a much more athletic feel. So we're actually out here for a reason, boys and girls. I needed smoke machine supplies, accessories. Not product, but we need to go, like we need to go to like a specialty shop a glass specialty shop. I kind of know where it is. This could be it over here. Oh man, I don't have my fucking lock. What does that have to do with You guys it? work here, right? Yes, yes, yes. Eyeball this for me for a second, make sure nobody touches this, like 30 seconds. Yeah, go ahead, man. I appreciate it, man. You look like the type of guy nobody would fuck with. All right, thank you. Hey, the tattoo guy's watching my bike for me. You got this in stock? And if it's cheap enough, I'll take two of them. Yeah, you know, let me one. see here. Let me like see that. $20. Oh, come on. Give me a better local price. 20 is a lot for that, to be honest with Are you. Are you 15? Okay, I'll take it. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, yeah, unless you want to give me two for 25. You guys want to give me two for 25? <laughs> I'm hustling. All right, buddy. That's a good deal, though. Thanks, dude. I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. So I'm very happy for 15 bucks I got that second part of my smoke machine. That's the problem with glass, it breaks. Can you see all this cool glass right here actually? You guys probably can't see it, it's probably got a, it's probably got a bad reflection. It's Hollywood for you, just go right down the street and get exactly what I need. Now, I already like, I kind of ate dinner already even though it's only like four o'clock. So we're just gonna pick up some snack foods of course to finish the, everything you need to know about the Mantis video. I think though, just the fact that I'm riding it all the time, like I'm doing my part in explaining to the market what this scooter does. The scooter really does crush it on delivery shifts. It's actually a fantastic medium sized scooter for me. Like for some people this might be a big scooter, but I like the really big scooters for deliveries because I don't want to ever have to worry about range, especially around here where you're going up hills a lot. Damn. Through motherfuckers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Where are you gonna go, mister? Where are you gonna go? Fucking idiot. Well, I've done a lot of delivery shifts on this scooter and it's held up really well. Yeah, we're gonna call this the 420 mile review. It's gonna get me blackballed by YouTube probably. Check it out, guys. I'm gonna post up in the center of the zombie crossing. It's like, you know that scene with Brad Pitt when he's infected himself and everybody, the zombies ignore him? It's like that's the scene right now. Notice they're ignoring me because I'm already infected, right? So I, I actually am a zombie. So here we are at the zombie crossing right in the middle. Normally I wouldn't want to spend so much time here. COVID fucking MRSA Central. All right. Look out, zombie, get out of my way. Fuck, God, that was a close one. He almost bit me. All oh, right, we still got to get the target. I'll tell you, out here riding this thing, I can tell how Alfonso, my friend, went to test ride it 
And are well, these people just going to get ran over? Well, we'll use that as a blocker. Oh, we got the light. He went out and test rode it and loved it. I mean, this thing does have a super fun feel to it. It's by no means a toy, but man, when you were like 10 years old, you wish you had this. <laughs> it would be too fast for a 10-year-old, probably. Although I did see a kid, a kid today on a, uh, a little high boy, and I realized, oh, that's what it's good for, kids. I'm turning it down a little mode here, a little, a little less acceleration, so none of these little zombies could walk right into me. Will they let me enter the ramp? Thank you, zombies. Helmet off, because we're not crazy. Scooter off, because we're not dumb. All right, this is going to be a quickie. We'll be in and out in a second. It's just a snack food run. Got everything we need. Goddamn Target making me fat. I blame Target. This thing only opened up a couple of years ago. Again, if you have questions about this scooter, a rare curb jump on this scooter. I don't think uh, it can handle it, but it's just not never good for these scooters to curb jump. If you've got any questions about this scooter, please drop them in the comments. See if I can help you, the group can help you. Again, the Facebook group is very helpful. Melvin, the owner, is on basically every group related to these scooters here and there helping out. Fellow pioneers of human transportation, I really appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions, set your notifications for the live stream. I've been hitting that more and more often. I'm enjoying that. Thank you for participating in that. Use the bonus codes. Try the Alpha Brain, link in description, and I'll see you all next time. We actually got to do a little whip around here. We got to go up La Brea. We don't want to have to make a left up there. All right, guys, see you next time.